Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Gogo here from Zhuhai, China. In my last video, I talked about the build quality of Made in China Model 3. If you are interested in it and you haven't seen it, please go and check it out. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about autopilot system. Uh, there are three different levels of autopilot system. The first one is BAP or Basic Autopilot. Uh, it comes as standard uh, with all the Tesla vehicle on sale right now. And the second level is EAP or Enhanced Autopilot. And the third level is FSD, which is also known as Full Self-Driving Function. And I will introduce uh, these three levels of autopilot to you and which function do they contain. So I made a table to show you different functions of autopilot. The first one is basic autopilot. It comes as standard, so it costs nothing. Only two functions are available for BAP, which is automatic cruise control and auto steer within one lane. And other functions are not available for basic autopilot. And in China, uh, Tesla allowed us to purchase enhanced autopilot for only half of the price of full self-driving, which is uh, 5,000 US dollars. So it has much more functions compared with BAP. It has uh, auto lane change. So auto lane change can, while driving on the highway, automatic lane change will position your car in the optimal lane to prepare for merges and exits while overtaking slow cars. And they also have navigate on autopilot, uh, which can help you on the highway from on-ramp to off-ramp, includes automatic lane changes, traffic aware cruise control with complete stopping and re-engagement, auto steer, as well as overtaking slow cars in your lane. And it also comes with auto park. You can park with ease in both parallel and perpendicular parking spaces as well as summon and smart summon. And for recognized traffic light and stop signs, it's not available for EAP. And uh, the last one is FSD, which is also known as full self-driving. It's the most expensive one, it's 10,000 US dollars. It has all the function included in EAP as well as it can recognize traffic light and stop signs right now. However, uh, the auto steer on city streets, which means it's automatic driving in the future. But it does not come right now if you purchase FSD when you are not in the United States. So you can not participate in the FSD beta version to test the function of auto steer on city streets. And now I will talk about uh, each function of EAP for you. Start with some of the first function of FSD I would like to talk about is summon. So in this situation like this, our car is parked in the middle of two cars here. Sometimes it may be quite hard for you to squeeze inside to turn on the door. So you can use summon to summon your car forward a little bit by pressing uh, the button on the phone here set forward, the car will come forward by itself. for you to turn on the door. The next function of FSD I would like to talk about is Smart Summon. My car is parked over there. Imagine I have something to carry very heavily in my hand and I don't bother myself to walk to that car. I can summon my car towards me automatically. By using Tesla app here on your phone, I can press come here button the car will come here automatically. Let's have a look. It's turning right now. You can use the boom box function in your car to make some silly noise when it's using smart summon function, just like what I'm doing right now. It's gradually coming towards me.
and the smart summon is completed. The next function I would like to talk about is the automatic parking. So you can drive for the speed below 24 kilometers per hour and the car will automatically detect parking space for you. And now here is a free parking space. When you drive past the parking space, you can see a little P here indicating that you can start the automatic par uh, parking for you. Press start and this car will do everything for you. It will control the speed, it will control the steering wheel and also it will control the uh, gear change for you. So now it will change to drive again, move forward a little bit. The parking is complete. Let's go outside of the car and have a look. We can see that the parking is completed. I think it parks really, really good. Especially very close to the roadside. I think I will give a A plus for this automatic parking. The most practical function of FSD in income driving is auto lane change. When I turn on the indication to left, this car can change the lanes to the left automatically. Okay, I can turn the indication to the right and change lane to, left, to the right hand side automatically. This function is only available when the driving speed is higher than 45 km per hour. The next function of FSD is navigate on autopilot. This one is a very practical function on highway. We can say that the navigation system told us we need to keep to the right to merge to the ring road to the highway and this car can automatically change lanes for us uh, to merge to the highways you can see that the autopilot now change to one blue lines here which means it starts the navigate on autopilot system we need to keep left here this one single line uh, indicates navigate on autopilot is initiated. We need to keep right here. The car turn to the indication light to the right automatically and merge to the right road automatically. Now we are entering into the ring road to merge to the highway. Because we are entering into the terminal right now, the uh, navigate on autopilot will again degrade to autopilot again. So we can see two blue lines here indicate normal basic autopilot driving. We are now entering into the terminal.
now we are close to go out of the tunnel we can see that the two blue line will turn on to one blue line later we will turn right to merge the ring road okay the car is turned right automatically to merge to the ring road we can see that there's one blue line here indicate navigate on autopilot is initiated we need to keep left the car is doing all the work by itself turning the right indication on turning the right in left indication on it's merged to the left lane again and now we are off the highway the navigate on autopilot system will then downgrade to basic autopilot again let's pay attention the one blue line will then become two blue lines here indicate navigate on autopilot is completed and it's downgrade to basic autopilot okay it's completed in this video it shows you a scenario that when we are using navigate on autopilot there is a slow car in front of us and it will automatically surpass this slow car for us however here's solid line here you cannot change lanes when it is solid lined now dash line is coming the car turn its right indication on automatically however there's a fast car approaching us on our red line and uh, the car is showing red of that cars so we cannot change lanes now it is safe to change lanes the car turns to the right lanes automatically and the lane change is completed so now let's have a conclusion here I think the basic autopilot is a very useful function but it's not very practical but because it can only keep you within this lane uh, it cannot uh, automatically change lanes for you and this let's talk about enhanced autopilot it is the most practical function uh, among the three levels of autopilot especially the auto lane change function uh, if you have this auto lane change function, you don't need to disengage the autopilot every time when you want to change lane. And I think it's very safe to use this function and Tesla is doing a really good job in its enhanced autopilot. And also if you are, uh, uh, need to drive on the highway very often, navigate on autopilot is also a very practical function. Uh, and uh, it is very mature as well. I think you can safely uh, trust your Tesla when it turned on navigate on autopilot. However, for full self-driving, uh, we can see a lot of test video of FSD beta version in the United States that is only available to certain early bird users. FSD in the future can give you the automatic driving function in in city driving condition however I, i'm not very positive to this function i think it is uh, still a very long way to go and tesla need to test this fsd beta for much longer time and it will take even longer uh, for tesla to deliver this fsd full self-driving software to all of us uh, outside of the united states and also this function will subject to different laws and regulations. Who knows what kind of function we can get for FSD in the future. So all in all, I think if you can buy enhanced autopilot in the future for half of the price of uh, FSD, it is really good value for money. Okay, 
uh, that's all for today's video. If you enjoy watching it, please share it, like it, and comment down below about any question you have related to the autopilot of Tesla. Thank you so much for your support. See you soon. Bye bye.